your work, I would say maybe six years ago and before that, when you were very platformed at the Gospel Coalition um, and even other outlets. I know you mentioned before we turned on the camera and recorded that Christianity Today had even carried some of your stuff. And now um, you, you're not getting you, you did not get a good review in Christianity Today for this new book. And Expected. I'm, assu I'm assuming that some of the former places that used to welcome you and want to platform you are now turning on you or trying to ignore you. Um, and yeah, and I, I just wonder what that means and what how you interpret that. And what does that mean for Christianity? Do you, do you think that 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 is an indication of maybe it's a smaller group than we thought? Well, I, I might kind of, is it okay if I frame it a little differently? Because Please I'm, do. Yeah. you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a pastor's wife in a small church. I am not, I mean, I've, I've, ri I've, I've written books that have sold a lot of copies. I've written articles that have gone a lot of places. And so it probably looks like I'm a lot busier doing those things that I'm doing, but I mostly spend my time homeschooling kids, taking care of a grandson and chopping vegetables. Okay. So that is the, that is the normal Rosaria, you know, kind of life. Um, and um, I, like many, many people back in what Aaron Wren would have called neutral world, believed mm -hmm. there was a third way. I believed it. Um, and whether that's, whether it was there or whether I just believed it, I don't know. But, um, um, my, my husband's a pastor in the RPCNA. We are not, uh, I mean, we are in, um, a fraternal organization with the PCA, but we don't have a whole lot in, in common. And so, uh, you know, my husband was never a fan of some of the bigger players like Tim Keller and other things. There, there were some problems mm -hmm. in that theology. So, uh, uh, you know, that, um, uh, but I did, you know, I certainly came to Christ in 1999 and that was during, you know, a more neutral time for Christianity. And, um, and so organizations, uh, like the gospel coalition and Christianity today wanted to know about, um, how Ken Smith and I got to be, you know, in the same room having this conversation. And, um, and so, um, uh, you know, for me, I did come to faith through the hospitality ministry of someone, and and so did my husband. And for years, Kent and I were the only two Christians in our extended family until our two youngest children came to faith. Um, so, the wow. the particular practice of hospitality and other things. I, I, so, in other words, what I'm saying is, I might have been working in a kind of parallel universe that was that was you know complimentary, but um, I never held a post at the Gospel Coalition. I never, right. I mean, I, I've written, I, I think I've written more books than I have Gospel Coalition articles, and I've spoken at two of their conferences compared to the, I don't know, hundreds of places I've spoken at. So so okay. I think it might just, you know, but but I will tell you that it was my, it was it was my session that said, you're not writing for Gospel Coalition. You're not, doing anything for these broad evangelical groups long before they had anything to say, you know, positive or negative about me. Right. And the reason that my session said that was they were very concerned with the way, um, the way my voice might be used in these contexts. Um, not because anyone was concerned that anybody was going to edit the gospel out of my articles. I, you know, it, that wasn't the concern. The concern was that, um, my article would maybe be pitted against a very liberal article, leaving other Christians with this confusion that, well, it could be either yeah. way, you know, and I think that's where pluralism gets you. That's where postmodernism gets you. So, it, it, so I, I, in some ways I left the party, um, a, a while ago. Sure. Um, and I don't expect, I don't expect the gospel coalition to love this book. I don't, I certainly did not, you know, we, and in fact, if they did, I'd wonder what was going on Yeah, because yeah. Well, we disagree about what time it is. See right. that, I think we disagree about what we disagree about whether we live in a post Obergefell world where it is unsafe to be a soft presence and where you need to move where the battle is hot and where pastors need to get the wolves out of the church and certainly out of the pulpit. We disagree about that. So why? Why would I expect a good review? I don't. 